question. Kaya, you're gonna get socked in two seconds. <laughs> She's literally standing there to see how long it was gonna take for me to recognize that she was doing that and laughing. I do, I do that, mom. Sometimes I like try and push her button. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> What were your thoughts and feelings when you first found out you were pregnant with Amaya? Well, Amaya was a surprise. <laughs> so uh, that was a little mixture of feelings. I knew my mom, I was 19. <laughs> so I knew my mom was going to freak out. I was in college. So I think the feeling was a little different with Amaya than with Kaya because Kaya was planned and, you know, we tried for a year and, <laughs> but. Obviously, ultimately, when you're, you know, you know you're having a baby, it's just like, you know, you're scared, you're overwhelmed, you're happy, you're nervous, a whole, uh, just a mixture of emotions, mm -hmm. but obviously you wouldn't change it for the world. With women and just raising young girls, I think it starts at home. Um, in raising them from little girls, you just make sure that they have the confidence, you make sure they have the strength, you make sure they have the security within themselves, you know, that they're getting it from me and their dad. Um, because I think once they're equipped with that themselves, then there's nothing else anybody can, you know, kind of take away from them. So I think I've made it a point to continuously tell them how great they are, what they can do, show them what they can do, push them to see what they can do. Um, that way, when they go out in the world, it's, you know, you're gonna have your hard times, you're gonna have your obstacles, but at the end of the day, if you're um, confident in who you are and you know what you can do, then the sky's the limit. What inspired you to become a surrogate? Well, I love being pregnant, mm -hmm. um, but I knew, uh, I did not want any more children. <laughs> I hear a lot of surrogates say the same thing. Like, I, they love being pregnant. They love, which I do. Like, I feel great. I have had great pregnancies. Like, I just feel good. Like, when everything's funnier when I'm pregnant. It's funny because, like, I have this hearty laugh. I don't know if it's because I have all the weight, you know? But it's like, I feel like Santa Claus. Yeah. And it's like, everything's funnier. The food tastes better when you're pregnant. It's just a whole, you know, you have some women who absolutely hate it, which I've had friends that, you know, she had three kids and she hated every single pregnancy. And then you have those people like me who just love it. So I knew I, you know, I could help somebody, you know, become a parent and then I could still be pregnant, you know what I mean, at the same time. Yeah. So it was just a matter of wanting to help somebody, um, you know, be able to have kids. Cause there are a lot of people out there who are trying, you know, like I mentioned, infertility or just, mm -hmm overall you know depending on their situation and, and can't have kids so I think that for me was the biggest driver was just wanting to help somebody when I first started looking into it I was not um, educated about it so I was thinking okay let me have a baby but I didn't realize that you could um, there's a traditional surrogacy where they use your egg and then there's the gestational surrogacy where it's the embryos made outside the womb. How many babies did you have? Like I've had started? three. Okay. I've had three. Um, two of them are brother and sister. So yes. I had one um, for one, one family, and then the second one for a different family, and the third one is for the first family. Once I finished and got my associates, I realized that I wasn't ready to quit my job to go to nursing school and could we afford it and you know that kind of thing so I was in HR at the time so I was like oh well, maybe I'll just stick with the job that I have and kind of tailor my education towards that but it's been god it's it's been four years now non-stop I haven't taken any semesters off but like I'm two classes away from my bachelor's and I'm like holy crap I did it you know so it was hard extremely hard especially working and with Kaya having softball when Amaya was still in high school you know trying to plan my classes around pickups and drop-offs and you know definitely not easy but looking back now it's like I'm so happy I did it it's 
it's hard. I mean, obviously, I think people know that. I think one thing that I think people don't talk about enough is infertility. Um, I know several women that, you know, have gone through that or have a story about it, but it's like, I think a lot of women suffer in silence because it's like you feel like less of a woman or you feel like you're the only one going through it or you feel like, you know what I mean, it's almost taboo or there's something wrong with you. And then once you realize, or you know, they'll get pregnant and then you hear about it. Like, oh, it took me three years or it took me five years or, you know, and it's like, wow, you know, you don't realize it. I have a few friends, you know, that have gone through that. So I think that would be something I would want to tell people that it's okay to talk about it. It's okay. You're not the only one. I think that's important to know. Um, and it's not that you're doing anything wrong or that there's anything wrong with you. There's, you know, sometimes it's just harder for other people to get pregnant than it is, you know, mm -hmm. you would expect. Yeah. You know, you make, everyone makes it seem like, oh, you know, we're pregnant and we tried. It's our first month and it happened. Yeah. You know, it doesn't always happen like that. I think another thing is you have to be flexible. Um, you can't, all, all kids are different. I have two kids, they're, they're, you know, underlying, they're, you know, the same. We have the same values, they have the same, you know, types of, because we raised them the same, but they're two opposite kids, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? I think you have to, you can't parent them the same. Yeah. I think people have to realize that. They think, oh, I did this with this one, why isn't it working with this one? It's like, no, you know, they're individuals. Yeah. So it's, I think it's important to treat your kids and parent your kids uh, according to who they are and not necessarily what you think they should be.